right, welcome back guys. Mark here from Home Slots. All right, we're gonna do a project today. I have gutted this uh, BB2 cabinet and we are going to install Willy Wonka video on it, which means we need to put uh, the topper back on uh, in the top monitor, as well as install the touch monitor. Uh, the reels have already been removed. Uh, shout out to Rick James. He uh, now has a Willy Wonka three reel kit. So I uh, sold him my reels, so those are gone. So that's why we're gonna convert it back to video. So let's get started here. I've got everything I think I need down here. There's the topper. Uh, there's the little shroud that goes over the topper, the cables, uh, and the monitors here. So uh, I already had took out the transmissive monitor here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and uh, first try to get this uh, topper back on. It's not too difficult. This is actually easier than uh, most of the other ones that I deal with. You know, at least uh, weight-wise, it's manageable. Okay. Just line it up there, and then I have my... Have my screws. I hope everybody's having a good week. I have been busy, busy, busy. But I'm excited to get this going again. Um, I do like the Wonka video. This, that was the uh, OG original, uh, the first Wonka game that came out, I think. I don't, I don't think there was another one for this one. But it is a lot of fun. I know you guys can't see. All I'm doing is putting these uh, screws in here to just hold the top in place. Okay. And I'm just going to hand tighten those because this, I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. <laughs> they always over screw those things. All right, and then we'll put the power to the candle and what we're going to plug that into is the power distribution box over here um, at least I think I am I think I thought there was a uh, yeah here it is all right all right and the next thing we're going to do is put the top monitor in So, oh, I need the power cable. Hold on a second. All right, so power cable plugs into this uh, distribution box over here as well. So let me get that. Okay. All right, and this is the tricky part, is trying to get all these things plugged in. don't have a whole lot of slack on this DVI cable, so. There. So for BB3 games like Willy Wonka, you have to do DVI on the top box. You cannot do VGA. All right, we will hook in the power. I know you guys can't see this. You know, this is kind of, <laughs> this is a hard, it's hard to film this stuff and still do the work at the same time. I don't have a big production studio here, so. All right, so those are two are in, so we just need to put it in the, just like that. And yes, that is dirty. I don't know if I have, yeah, I have a cloth in here. Let me wipe that down. These are out in storage, so they do get dirty out there. good enough there okay so let's put um, the bottom monitor in 
and this requires uh, three things. So you need the power, which I already have in here, uh, DVI, which I already have in here, but I need to also put in the touch cable, which is uh, this right here. It goes into the back of the monitor uh, with this uh, small little Molex here. Uh, looks like a uh, six plug Molex. And then this one goes all the way down to the bottom into the back plane or the motherboard. Uh, there are different cables. This one um, I pulled from another machine. So it's not the standard one that you get, but it works. Um, so what I'm going to do is just feed this down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cheat and just do it in the front here. We don't have reels to worry about, so there's plenty of space to just coil the wire up in here. And I'm just going to feed it down the back. Let me get this down so you guys can see. So I'm just going to feed this down. Yeah, the re when you have reels in here, they take up so much room, and it's hard to uh, it's hard to do cable management. But with the touch monitor, it's a lot a lot easier. All right, let me go down here and show you where this goes. So this goes in the very top left corner. Down in here, I know you're not gonna be able to see it, but you know, I showed you where it is. Let me get it in there. And there's only one place for it to go, so <clears throat> okay. So that is in there. Now let's get the uh, touch monitor in. It's the same thing, just kind of rest it. And we're going to put the uh, touch cable. And again, only one spot for it to go in, so you can't really mess it up. Okay, that's in there. We need the power. And then the DVI cable. Where'd you go? Well, there you are. Okay. Then we just need to put this in the mount get all our cables out of the way so it doesn't crank. All right, just like that. Not too bad. All right. Now let's put the uh, top shroud on here. Just so it looks somewhat decent. These things are a pain in the butt. I hate these things, especially trying to take them off. All right, that's that's in there. Okay, I think we are ready to uh, do a clear here. So let me get my RAM clear. So I've got my RAM clear for the uh, 3.2 CPU, which is what is required for Wonka. And you also need a fuller board, which is uh, this thing down here. So you need one of those for that this to work as well, and that's to fool the uh, top top box. All right, uh, let's. I think I got everything. Yep, yeah. power on. We'll do the clear, and then we will do the first boot stuff here. All right, so we do have uh, both displays are working, so that's good. No issues there. Usually if I have a bad monitor before I put it in storage, I'll put a little, uh, you know, painter's tape on there with an explanation of what's going on. Just so I don't pull it out thinking it's working. <laughs> I don't throw anything away, even when they're uh, bad. You just never know. Okay, so it's done already. It says power down and put OS 
and game card in, so we will do that. So I'll take the uh, Okay, so I'm going to put the OS, okay, that one goes right here, and then the game card goes in the other slot, and it's labeled on here so you know which one goes in where, and then I also need to put the dongle uh, in the USB port, and there's a USB port on the uh, inside of the CPU itself, so that's the one I'm going to use there. Okay, and then we need to close we need to close this and then lock it which I just use my finger because there's usually a lock on here uh, you know gaming commission would put a lock on there and tape of course all right uh, we are good to go we're ready to boot and we should be good unless we have any errors I'm excited. This is a fun game. I've had it before in here. I didn't keep it long. I sold it, and I wish I didn't, so I bought it back. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. Regrets. Okay, that's going to be going off for a while, so I'm going to unplug the audio, which is just this uh, cable right there, because it'll just keep beeping over and over again. It's really annoying. All right, so now we need to configure everything, so we're going to push the test switch here, and that'll get us into the menu. All right, and the first thing we need to do is set the clock, and there is a specific order that you have to do this in, so that's what I'm doing here. Let me back up a little bit. Let's make sure you guys can see the whole thing. All right, so we're going to change time zone. We are US and I'm in central. So we'll set, set. And then we need to go to machine setup, machine info setup, and set the serial number to one. And this is for the ticket in, ticket out. Not really sure if that's required, but it's in the instructions, so I always do set it. Uh, then we need to go to cabinet setup and device setup. And this one does not have a printer, so no printer, no coin acceptor, no hopper, and it does have a bill validator, and this looks to be a JCM. So you need to make sure that matches. Okay, so JCM. Um, if it ends up, if you pick the wrong one, it'll tell you over here that there's a mismatch. And unfortunately, you'd have to re, uh, you have to clear it and do all this all over again if you set it wrong the first time, so. All right, now we can go to credit setup, and based in on, we're going to do pennies, set that, and then go to Denom, Willy Wonka, and we are on pennies, we'll set it the highest payback percentage, 
save, set, and then uh, sound I like to put down to about three because it's really loud by default. Now we need to set up the ticket in, ticket out. So we go to COM setup, serial ports, set this to SAS primary, click config, change this to system. Okay, hit set. Then go to host setup and set all of these to SAS primary. Like that, save, exit, and we are good to go. So now we can uh, return to game and close the door. And we're gonna have to wait a little bit for it to do its initial setup here. And then we should be good to go. Let me get a ticket here. Looks like I need to polish up the silver here on the uh, the trim. <laughs> Looking good. It's just uh, configuring the button panel now. And later on, I might. Uh, it doesn't really show like it on camera, but the uh, top screen is a little dim compared to the bottom one, at least in person. So I might crank up the brightness on that. Uh, unfortunately, you have to get to the back of it in order to do it. I'll do that later. I don't want to take this all apart again. <laughs> okay, I think we're all set, so let me put a ticket in. Oh, I need to plug the sound back in. <laughs> sound is very important on this game. So I'm just going to plug that cable back in. Okay. Such an annoying sound. All right. All right, let me kill the lights and let's play this a little bit.
my dear friends, you are now about to enter the nerve center to the entire Wonka factory. Now I gotta pick something. Man, I'm gonna work with this. Um, second to last word.
invention, my dear friends, is 93% perspiration, 6% electricity, 4% evaporation, and 2% butterscotch ripple. converted to Willy Wonka video. All right, hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you on the next video. We got more projects coming. Don't worry. All right, take care guys. Bye-bye.